Hi guys, Mr. Kane here. Good to see you again. Hi, Mrs. G. Here I am again. Mr. Kane, there's an animal on your board. We there's have an to animal. Oh, we have to call animal control. Animal control. What is that, Mr. Uh, Kane? I don't know. I, I think that's yours, Mrs. G. I, uh, Wait, don't you have a name for her? Let me put my glasses on. That's Millie. That's <laughs> Millie the Mole. How'd you end up with her? Millie the Mole? I thought I'd lost her. Well, she's very small, so, you know, yeah. being named Millie. It's hard to see her sometimes. She's so tiny. All right, so uh, we're starting out here with the mole concept, and just in case you guys were wondering, there is a date coming up. Uh, October 23rd is National Mole Day. And why is it on the 23rd of October, Mr. Kane? Because in chemistry, we use this number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd to express what a mole is. All right. And October 23rd, 23rd 10, 23. Clever. So, yeah, it's, uh, you know what, the, the math people have Pi Day, we have Mole Day. Okay. Yeah. All right. Goals of Unit 7. Understand the concept of the mole and why it is important to chemists. Be able to determine the molar mass of a given substance. Be able to use Avogadro's number in mass, mole, liter, and particle conversions. Ooh, that sounds like math. Mm -hmm. Be able to use laboratory data to determine percent composition, empirical formula of a compound, and molecular formula of a compound. And that sounds like math too. Oh, it's math. I, do I need a calculator? You need a calculator. Oh, I, I actually don't. I can do the math longhand. I uh, prefer not to, but... I would advise a non-graphing calculator. You'd be amazed at what can be programmed into those graphing calculators. Right. So, to start out with, the mole. The mole is a unit. It's an SI unit for counting by measuring. It's, it's kind of an interesting concept. We count by measuring. So, because we're measuring, there is significance, okay. but we're using, it, we're using the measurement to actually count. Uh, it comes from the old Latin root word uh, meaning small piles. So if you've ever wondered why it's called a mole, it's a, it's a small little pile oh. of things. And if you think about it, moles themselves, the animal, uh -huh. make small piles on yeah. your lawn. Yeah, that's true. So maybe that's why they call them moles in the first place. Yeah. Uh, the only ex uh, acceptable abbreviation for mole is M-O-L. Okay, you cannot use the letter M because the letter M stands for meter. Yeah, meter's got to it first. Uh huh. So mole is M O L. Okay, uh, it is a counting unit. Uh, y if you're familiar with the idea of a dozen being twelve, then you should be familiar with the idea of a mole. One mole is equal to six point o two times ten to the twenty third things. And I probably should actually have labeled this as twelve things. Yeah. If I go to the store and buy a dozen eggs, I've got 12 eggs. If I buy a dozen shoes, I've got 12 shoes. So the mole has a certain quantity to it. Mm -hmm. And if we tell people we want one mole of something, they know what we mean. Eggs, well, chemists will know what you chemists mean. Will yeah. know. Or people so who took chemistry. If I had to make an analogy, I would have to say, other than the dozen works good too, but like, wouldn't that be kind of like a loaf of bread too? A loaf of bread has, has a certain number of bread. Oh, a certain number of slices. Slices, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So instead of asking your grocer for three slices of bread, you just go in there and buy a loaf. Right, exactly. Right. Okay. That's easy. Okay. So uh, why is it that, uh, that chemists don't count atoms in dozens like everyone else counts dozens, you know, dozens of eggs and things like that? Uh, it turns out that atoms and molecules are so extremely small that a 12 ounce bottle of water, that's 355 milliliters for those of you in the uh, metric zone, yeah. would have 1.19 times 10 to the 25th molecules okay. of water. That's molecules, okay? So if we tried to count that in dozens, the math works this way. We'd take 1.19 times 10 to the 25th molecules, and we'd say that 12 molecules is a dozen, and we'd wind up finding out that as ter in terms of dozens, it has 9.89 times 10 to the 23rd dozen Molecules. That's a tough number to say, to write. It's still way too many to say and write. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'd probably mess it up and drop a number or put 22 down when it should be times 10 to the 23rd. That's an ugly number. Not to mention, even if you can remember that and say it, oh, who, yeah. who really wants to? Yeah, okay. I'd rather not. All right, so 9.89 times 10 to the 23rd dozen water molecules just doesn't swing it for chemists. We're lazy. We don't want to write that much or think that much. Got to be an easier way. All right, the, so the number's impractical. Uh, so... What we do is we use this idea that a mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. Okay, uh, what that means is that it, the number looks like this, and we've written that number before in class right. in the last we unit. We just did that with the questions from 
the video third video. Mm -hmm. That was one of the questions. All right. So if we measured a mole of donuts, it would be 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd donuts. So if I wanted a, a mole's worth of donuts to celebrate National Mole Day, I would call up Dunkin' Donuts and I'd say, hi, I want to order a mole of donuts. And 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd donuts would be delivered to you? Uh, well, I think I might get laughed at because it's a lot of donuts. That's a lot of donuts. All right. One mole of atoms would be 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. Okay. A mole of molecules would be 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. What this means is if we do the math, a 12 ounce bottle of water would have 19.7 moles of water in it. And that's a much nicer looking number than 9.89 times 10 to the 23rd. Oh, heck yeah. That's oh, a, a lot. Yeah. Nice, aesthetically pleasing number. I'm actually impressed that you remember that number because I've completely forgotten ah. it already. 19.7 <laughs> is much easier. What does one mole look like? Well, it depends on the substance. So sulfur, zinc, iron, water, sodium chloride, and lactose are all different substances, but they'd each have the same number of particles that make them up in a mole. Mm. They'd all contain 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. Oh, and each one mole of each substance, because I see, I see a couple of elements. And some compounds, yeah. So I see three elements. So an element I'd, I'd speak of in terms of atoms, right? So the smallest single unit in an element is atoms. Atoms, atoms, and atoms. Yeah. And then water is H2O, and that's right-hand side of the periodic table. That's a molecular compound. Molecules. Molecules. Single smallest unit is a molecule. Uh -huh. And the single smallest unit of an ionic compound is usually called formula units. Formula units. Would strongly advise not abbreviating that to Ooh. F U. Yeah, F. I would say U, yeah, yeah, no. probably not. Okay. Form U's would be fine, but not F U. All right. Form U's. Form U's. Yeah, okay. I go with that. Lactose. Uh, lactose is a uh, is a. It's an organic. It's isn't an it? organic, so we'll call it a molecule. Okay. Okay, mostly non -mose. So tiny little pieces. Okay. So we can throw up some pictures of what one mole looks like of each of these. Awesome. Okay. Counting small particles. This is the same this thing. This is the same thing, yeah. isn't it, Mr. It's the same thing. An in element has atoms in it. Ionic compound is a formula unit. You should know what an ionic compound is and looks like and named. That's type 1 and 2 yes. for those of us who don't remember. Yeah. And a molecular compound is molecules. That's type 3. And ions are ions. Okay. Ions are ions. Yeah, those are the those are the charge things, right? Yep. Measuring a mole of small particles, same quantity of particles, different names, which we've just gone over three times yeah. now. Yeah, six point oh two times ten to the twenty third atoms would be a mole of copper, which is an element. Yeah. A mole yeah. of sodium chloride would ionic be measured compound. ionic compound. So we got a metal and a nonmetal. So formula units, two nonmetals. So molecules. And the charge, so? Ions. Okay, so one mole of any substance is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd pieces of that substance. Yeah, atoms, formula units, molecules, ions, these are pieces. So if I wanted to buy pixies and caramel pieces, I could get a mole of pixies and a mole of caramel pieces, and both of them would contain 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd Pieces. Yeah, pieces. 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 Ooh, pieces yeah. That I would like. Speaking of pieces, I would love a mole's worth of Reese's. Yep, pieces. there you go. That, that would be lots and lots, but that'd be awesome. I'd fill a swimming pool at least. Okay, so who came up with the idea of, uh, of a mole? It turns out that this guy, Amadeo Avogadro, uh, figured it out in 1811. He was the Count of Quargma. He's an Italian, mm. and he also happens to be a savant, which means that he's really, really good at certain things. Some savants are good at music, some are good at math. Uh, he's good at math. Mm. Uh, and uh, he is the guy who came up with the idea that a certain amount of a substance should be equal to the same number of particles, mm. okay, the idea of which we now call Avogadro's number, Avogadro's which number. Avogadro's number is, again, 6.022 times 10 to yep. the 23rd atoms. Now, Ms. G, I heard you just call it 6.022. Yes. I know that honors uses 6.022, but, you know, we're, we're in regular chemistry, so we'll use one last digit just okay. for fun. All right. Um, and if, if, if any of our students ever want to take honors or AP, they'll realize that yeah. the number might change a little bit, be, depending on how uh, precise they want their values to be. Okay. Yeah. Three is good enough for us. 
How big is a mole? How big is a mole, Mr. King? I love this part. Okay. One mole of hockey pucks would equal the mass of the moon. Yeah. So wow. That, that's that, that's heavy stuff. Yeah. One mole of basketballs would fill a bag the size of the earth. Boy, that's an interesting vision. Yeah, I mean, you got a, a huge, yeah. A mole of pennies would cover the earth a quarter mile? A quarter of a mile deep. Whoa. Okay, so we're, we're, we're talking about a lot that's of a, pennies Yeah, there. that's a lot of quantity. That's a big number. And that's that's not the Chicagoland area. That's, that's the, not the United States. That's the Earth, earth. The entire Earth. The entire all earth. the way around covered a quarter mile. Including, a quarter mile. Including the water. Oh, man. And a quarter mile is at least the distance from here to my house. So Avogadro's number is very big. Yeah, it's, a, it's extremely big. That's a lot of stuff. And a mole of seconds this is the one that's incomprehensible to me. A mole of seconds is four million times longer than the Earth has existed. Oh, my. That's okay. interesting. So the Earth hasn't even existed for a mole's worth of seconds. Wow. It hasn't even existed for a millionth of a mole. Holy cow. Yeah, it's a quarter of a millionth of a mole in seconds. All right, example number one. How many molecules of water are in 1.25 moles? I bet we could do a conversion yeah. factor yeah. dimensional analysis for yeah. this. I think we can. Okay. Start with the number in the problem. Start 1. with the moles. 1.25 moles. Mm -hmm. And we want to find molecules. Okay, so we have to create a conversion factor from Avogadro's experiment stating one mole is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. So which would go on the top and which would go on the bottom of my ratio? Well, I've got moles on top, so I think I want moles on the bottom. All right, and the definition is one mole. All right. And I want molecules on top. And want molecules on top. All right. right. So the definition is one, one mole, mole is... 6.022. I'm sorry. <laughs> 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. Now, is it written right, Mr. Kane? Moles cancel? Yep. yep. All right, let's check. Yeah, moles cancel. Awesome. So let's see. Moles cancel with moles. And we wind up with molecules. We do a little math. Uh, punch it into your calculator. 1.25 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And you get? 7.53 times 10 to the 23rd with three sig figs, just like in the problem. Yep, three awesome. sig figs. Now, Miss G, what I'm looking here... I can see three sig figs here. How many sig figs are in the number one? Uh, defi undefined. Undefined, so infinity. Yeah, All infinity. Right. How many sig figs in this number? It's an infinite number because it is a conversion factor. Okay. So okay. it will not determine how many significant figures are in your answer. Just like before, the conversion factors don't. All right, so three, and uh, I've got three, three here. Okay, that's right. uh, that sounds simple enough. All right, that works. How many moles are equal to 2.8? Now we're going backwards, aren't we? Yeah. Now, if you feel good, if you feel up to this, pause and try it out yourself. Okay. We're moving forward here. Now, the setup. Always start with the number in the problem, which in this particular case is the 2.8 times 10 to the 22nd molecules. All right. Which you wrote down, Mr. King, very well, numerical value and unit. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Over on the right here, we write moles of water. So that's where we're heading, is moles of water. Mm. So we need a ratio, which that is, and we need to write the ratio appropriately so that molecules cancel. Right? Well, last time we put moles on the bottom. Oh, well, we do that this time too then, yeah, right? Yeah, put moles on the bottom okay. here, and moles will cancel with mo molecules. Oh. Oh. Put the word moles in it, so I'll, con I'll cancel mole and mole, and, and I'll get molecules times molecules. Mm, that would be molecules. Squared. Yeah, no, yeah, don't yeah, think no, so, yeah. Mr. Kane. Okay, so molecules must cancel. So molecules on the bottom? Yep, I would go with molecules on the bottom so All that right. they cancel. And moles on top then. Yep. Beautiful following just the units. And according to the definition, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules on the bottom? Yep. And one mole on top? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so then we check the uh, units. The molecules do cancel with the molecules. And the math becomes 2.8 times 10 to the 22nd divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Yep. And there we go. 0.0472 two sig figs, just like the 2.8 times mm -hmm. 10 to the 22nd. Yeah, once again, two, two sig figs in this number. Yep. Infinity over here yep. and infinity over here, so yep. undefined, as you say. Yep. Uh, so we want two over here also. Okay. Simple enough.